Okay, this video is on long division of polynomials. And this is a, a bit of a harder one, but as you'll see, it works out pretty nicely. So like any other long division problem, um, so I guess the first thing you could do if you saw a common factor, you could cancel that common factor. Um, if there are you know, all fives on the top and all fives on the bottom, those might cancel. But in this case, we don't have any common factors. So we'll try the polynomial long division. So I set it up right here. Um, this is how you set it up. The, uh, the numerator goes under the, the line and the divisor goes here. Okay. So the first step, always the first step is we ask for each step, you ask, what do I have to multiply this number by five, eight to the fourth to get exactly this number? Well, you need to multiply it by a squared five a to the fourth times a squared is 5a to the sixth. So let's uh, make some columns up here. Make a few more. So we typically put it right above and we do a squared here. And then you say, okay, then you multiply a squared by everything in here. Okay, so a squared times 5a to the 4th, that's exactly what we wanted, the 5a to the 6th. And then a squared times minus 3a squared is minus 3a to the 4th power. And then a squared times 6 is plus 6a squared. And then I'd like to keep a placeholder. We don't have any uh, no, non-a terms, so I'll just put plus 0. And then we subtract this entire thing from what's above it. So you do 5a squared minus 5a to the sixth. Let me uh, underline this here, okay. So 5a to the sixth minus 5a to the sixth, but that's by design, we get zero. Then minus 13a to the fourth minus minus 3a to the fourth, so it's 13a to the fourth plus 3a to the fourth. So we'll get minus 10a to the fourth power. And then we get 12a squared minus 6a squared. So that's still plus 6a squared. And then we get minus 12 minus 0. So that's just minus 12. OK. So now we do the, we kind of start over and we say, how many times does 5a to the 4th go into 10a to the 4th? Well, if you multiply this by 2, you should get exactly that. Actually, it's negative 2, right? We have a negative 10a to the 4th, so this should be minus, no, uh, minus uh, 2, right? So a squared minus 2 on top. Actually, it looks fine the way it was here, so... Uh, a minus t a squared minus two. Okay, and now we multiply minus two by everything. So we get minus two times five a to the fourth. That by des that's by design minus ten a ten a to the fourth minus two times negative three a squared. So that's plus six a squared minus two times plus six is minus twelve. And if if you notice, this is exactly the same as this. And because we are subtracting uh, this entire thing, right? We, we subtract this off now. And anything minus itself is zero. So if you want to go through the math and distribute the negative and do each one, that's fine. So it's minus 10a to the fourth, minus minus 10a to the fourth, so that's plus. Uh, 6a squared minus 6a squared, that's 0. Uh, minus 12 minus minus 12, 12, minus 12 plus 12 is 0. So you can see that all these things become 0. And so that means we have no remainder. That means when we divide this by this, we get this, a squared minus 2, with no remainder. So that means that a squared minus 2 times this equals this, right? It's, it's really uh, 
our original problem looked like like five a squared um five a to the six so minus thirteen a to the fourth plus twelve a squared minus twelve so this was it we got when this divided we get a squared minus two and again you can see if you multiply both sides by the denominator you would get that equals uh, the product of these things and that's it that is polynomial long division